Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. Now, I really wish I was a professional and I could explain all the various ways to measure the electromagnetic spectrum to you in a professional way, in a professional manner, but I'm not. And I'm going to do the best I can with a very basic introduction because I get people all the time who contact me and they're trying to measure their wireless modem using a tri-field meter which is for really basically magnetic and electric fields mostly magnetic or people are trying to use a radio frequency meter like this or the or the acoustometer and they're trying to measure the EMFs that are coming out of their refrigerator okay and I get these questions all the time with people using the wrong meters so I'm going to do my best once again to give just a very basic introduction and I keep saying I'll do my best because I get a lot of negative comments on my channel that I obviously delete and I don't post them of people saying well who are you are you a professional what's your credentials and I get tired of that because I'm an individual who's doing the best I can to educate people and I assume that people will pursue a further education on this subject if they're interested okay so with that little disclaimer let's start right here with a tri-field meter many of you are familiar with a tri-field meter it does say on the meter that it will measure magnetic electric and radio frequency fields uh, however it really is mostly only good for magnetic fields I don't want to go into it and I don't want to bash the meter because it's a nice little meter but really the meter is useful for measuring magnetic fields okay here we have a rather expensive gigahertz solutions meter and this meter will measure electric and magnetic fields. You can switch it to electric and it will measure electric fields. You can switch it to magnetic and it will measure magnetic fields. Now, just a basic education, and I, I put my notes here so I can read them. Just a basic education is extreme low frequency waves are electromagnetic radiation with frequencies from 3 to 30 hertz. Okay, that is basic ELF, just extreme low frequency electromagnetic fields. Now, electric fields are measured in volts per meter. And the gigahertz solutions meters will measure the electric fields in volts per meter. Electric fields will come off of any appliance any electrical appliance it will come off of your desk lamp off your your lamp on your nightstand it comes off the refrigerator any electrical appliance will have electric fields and they will have magnetic fields magnetic fields are measured in milligos nanotesla and microtesla the the gigahertz solutions meter here measures in nano tesla and the tri-field meter measures in milligos and again both of those can measure magnetic fields now someone recently bought a uh, sensorizer meter from me which is for dirty electricity and they were asking me if it's going to measure other forms of radiation and I said no it's very very specific so what we have here is a stetzerizer meter and a stetzerizer meter is a specialized meter as you can see it just plugs into the wall and then it gives you a reading of what's called dirty electricity or high frequency transients that are running through the house wiring now dirty electricity is a little higher than the extreme low frequency electromagnetic radiation. Dirty electricity are the electrical fields that are approximately 4 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. So these are known as high frequency transients. And when people want to remediate the dirty electricity, they can use 
microsurge filters such as this. These are green wave microsurge filters. Excellent filters for installing around your home or office. Or one can also use the Stetzerizer meters. I'm sorry, the Stetzerizer microsurge filters. So once again, the Stetzerizer meter is for measuring high frequency transients or dirty electricity. I'm going to go over this again. The Gigahertz Solutions meter is a meter that measures electric and magnetic fields. Alright, extreme low frequency. The Tri-Field meter, it does have a setting for electric fields. I don't think it's terribly sensitive, but it's it's best used for measuring magnetic fields. All right, when we go up the frequency spectrum further, we get to the radio frequency radiation. And radio frequency radiation is considerably higher than the extreme low frequency uh, electromagnetic fields. And radio frequency radiation ranges from 100 kilohertz up to 300 gigahertz. The radio frequency meters, such as this Gigahertz Solutions meter, or here's an acoustometer, this is a radio frequency meter as well. These meters are going to measure your cell phone, the radiation coming off your cell phone, cell phone towers, uh, cordless phones, smart meters, wireless modems and routers, wireless keyboards and mice, uh, radar, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices. So again, one needs to use the proper meter for measuring the particular range of the electromagnetic spectrum that they're interested in. So one would use a Gauss meter or a magnetic and electric meter for, again, measuring the fields, the electric or magnetic fields that are coming off of a desk lamp or a computer or a refrigerator or the, the breaker box. If one's sleeping too close to a breaker box, you can see what electric and magnetic fields are coming out of it. Once again, the Stetzerizer meter is for measuring dirty electricity. And the radio frequency meters are for measuring radio frequency radiation from 100 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz is what the radio frequency radiation goes to, but the meters, these meters don't go up to 300 gigahertz. These are usually from about 200 megahertz to about 2.5 gigahertz. The acoustometer goes up to 8 gigahertz. And last but not least, here we have a Geiger counter. And a Geiger counter is for a different kind of radiation. I don't know why I'm smiling, but uh, I think it's funny somehow. The Geiger counter is for measuring ionizing radiation. You know, the, the really dangerous stuff that comes off of uh, nuclear power plants or uranium or plutonium. So, once again, the Geiger counter has a, uh, a tube inside of here that's very sensitive to picking up the decay of radioactive isotopes. And a Geiger counter works in a different way than the other meters, but it is picking up the ionizing form of radiation, whereas radio frequency meters are measuring the non-ionizing form of radiation from the electromagnetic spectrum. All right, so I went over this pretty quick. I repeated myself a couple times. I hope this is somewhat useful. This this video is obviously for beginners who, who want to familiarize themselves with how to measure the various forms of EMF. Uh, for anyone who's more familiar with it, this video might not be useful, but I hope it is to those who are still learning. Thanks for watching.